100% all Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and nobody spoiled that so raven for me. I'm halfway through it. Four players. Don't people ever sit around and play cards anymore? Everyone's got a nice little screw. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... One a month vitamins! Our slow release formula means you get all the vitamins you need for one whole month in one huge f***ing pill! If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Okay, no turning back. Get ready, time for fashion! Let's start with Tweedledee and Tweedledead. So, I'm afraid I have some sad news. Last night, our newest intern, Freddy, got food poisoning from some bad oysters. The doctors did everything they could, but uh, he's no longer with us. Like my former intern, Freddy, which of these Alice in Wonderland characters is most likely to have an obituary that reads, Ate some bad oysters. The Queen of Hearts, the March Hare, the Mock Turtle, or the Walrus, and... Player 3, who gets your screw? Uh-oh, Player 3, did you really mean to choose yourself? Because it usually feels better when someone else is involved. Can we continue now? Player four? Uh, no. <coughs> Player two? Off with this answer's head! <coughs> now pay attention. In Through the Looking Glass, the walrus and the carpenter trick some unsuspecting oysters into following them down the beach so they can gobble them all up. Which is not very nice. Why can't we all just be nice to each other? If Freddy were here with us today, he'd agree. Cookie, Freddy's not dead. They said he's gonna be fine. What? And why isn't he at work? When he comes back, fire that motherfucker. Player one. March yourself straight over to the loser's circle. <laughs> and then collect your prize. This vitamin from One Among Vitamins. Don't worry, it's a suppository. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. This one's called... Look at those pearly... What? What dental product could a beaver purchase that would really bring out the color of its front teeth? Crest 3D black strips, Listerine oranging, pre-brush rinse, Arm & Hammer advanced green toothpaste... Beavers have orange front teeth. See, what's attractive to humans may not be attractive to all animals. We might prefer light brown teeth like the ones I have, but that's actually very rare in the animal kingdom. Dance with me, Disco 3! Next up, the truthiness shall set you free. And it's a late night this or that. Player 3? You could use more cash. Yeah, why don't you take a crack at this one? I'm going to read off seven titles, and for each one, you tell me if it's part of a typical Catholic Mass, or a recurring segment on the Colbert Report. If it's Catholic Mass, press the square button. If it's the Colbert Report, press the circle button. Now, the rest of you need to hear this. Lock in your answers before Player 3. If Player 3 gets it wrong, I'll split up that cash to everyone who got it right. Okay, we're off. The Collect. The Word. Threat up. What? Fraction of the... Tip of the hat. A tone foam. You couldn't get over the Colbert bump. Christianity and Stephen Colbert. Two things given their start by a nice Jewish man. Here's one I like to call, I need to have my lungs retouched. 
Which photo description of Instagram would accurately describe the last pack of cigarettes before filters became commonplace? Cigarettes from the 1920s, hashtag no filter. Cigarettes from the 1940s, hashtag no filter. Cigarettes from the 1960s, hashtag no filter. Player one. <laughs> Players two, three, and four. Surgeon General's warning. Choosing the wrong answer is dangerous to your score. <laughs> it's so obvious. Due to negative reports published on the adverse effects of cigarettes, cigarette filters started flooding the markets in the 1950s. And thank God, because those things used to be dangerous. Five fingers! Say hello to... C is for... well, you know the rest. If instead of a cookie jar, Sesame Street's Cookie Monster accidentally stuck his hand into a canopic jar, what might you hear him exclaim? Me think me just grab fossilized poo! Me feel human organs in here! Player 2, who's gonna get that screw? You leave it, Player 3, you're screwed, you got 5 seconds to answer! Canopic jars were used in ancient Egypt to store and preserve the internal organs removed from human corpses during the mummification process. And with his impulse control problems, you know Cookie Monster down a couple of livers before he noticed something wrong. Player 2, this screw does not have a happy ending. That'll wrap up round 1. And Player 1 is winning. And quite impressively, I might add. Don't forget, all the questions in round 2 are worth double. And don't be afraid to use those screws. We don't want them getting rusty. And on its way, fame and misfortune. You're not going to believe this. On speakerphone, I have famed actor Sylvester Stallone. Can you hear me, Mr. Stallone? Hello? Wait, what, what happened? Whoopsie, that's not the radio. <laughs> Old man, did you just hang up on Sylvester Stallone? Oh, hi, Corky. I'm glad you're here. I'm having some trouble remembering something. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that screwy up to do, do It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Screwy, screwy up to I forget. All right, old man. What are you having trouble remembering this time? Well, it was a vacation I took a long time ago. It was this tiny little place next to the sea. I lost my retirement fund in their fancy casino. I almost got run over by a race car. And that pretty girl from the Hitchcock movies was there. Where in the heck was I? Is it Corsica, Montenegro, Saint Tropez, or Monaco? Does Monaco ring a bell? Hot dog, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry for hanging up the phone on your celebrity friend, Conky, but I want to make it up to you. I have Mr. Burt Reynolds in the hallway. Hey, Burt, come on in. Hello, everybody. Hi, Burt Reynolds. <clears throat> yeah, oh man, that's the crazy pigeon lady from the park. Hey, look, Corky, take it easy on him. Life after Hollywood ain't easy. Question 7. Coming up next, Ken's got a great car, but no genitalia. What would a Matroshka Barbie doll look like? A Barbie with a... Player one, who do you want to screw? Player four, you are so screwed, you got five seconds. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Player one, your screw worked out. You want even more cash? Player three? Check, please. <laughs> Players one and two? Uh, nah. -uh. <laughs> this would have worked. A Matroshka doll, sometimes known as a Russian nesting doll, is a series of progressively smaller dolls placed inside each other. And you know what that means? More outfits! This one's called 
To solve this riddle, you must be pet smart. Because of the animals it shares body parts with, which of these food brands definitely would not appeal to a sphinx? Fancy feast cat food? Why player four? Who do you care to screw? Player one, you've been screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Could be worse. You know, in theory. Player four, you screw like a high-class hooker. Grab a few more bucks, why don't you? Players two, three, and four? <laughs> it was begging to be picked. Sphinxes are part human, part lion, and sometimes part bird, but never part canine. As a result, they mouth off, claw up the furniture, and sometimes think their reflection is another sphinx. <laughs> Up next, the Kitty Pride Parade. Back when I heard that Juno star Ellen Page came out, it got me thinking. Let's say the Roman goddess Juno also decided to come out of the closet. What might you hear her tell her husband? Sorry Zeus, I like women. Sorry Poseidon, guys just aren't my thing. Sorry Saturn, nothing beats a lady. Or sorry Jupiter, I'm done with dudes. Player 3? Jupiter was the king of the Roman gods along with his queen Juno. Of course, all the other gods would pretend to be surprised, even though it's been obvious for years. Players two and four? Player one! Hate to disappoint you, but... Wait, no I don't. Here's a good one. Curl it like whoever is the David Beckham of curling. What's the best way to tell people the name of your curling team? Ice Ice Babies is my curling panel. Total Ice Holes is my curling rink. Ow. Were you thinking of this one? Rink is another name for curling team. Another name for a curling team is a curling who gives a shit. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 if you're right, 2,000 gone if you're wrong, and one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Just duet already. You two collaborated on what famous duet? Look. So what? Big deal, it's a trivia game. Nobody cares. I mean, honestly, if this is all you've done with your life, then... You don't know Jack! No 
Don't say pajamas is the new game show that's taken the world by storm. Hosted by none other than Terry St. Pancakes, the only rule of this game is not to say the word pajamas. Mr. Edgar Loudshoes, come on down. I can't believe I went don't say pajamas. What was that? You said pajamas. Now please sit down. Uh-oh. Remember, don't say pajamas. What do you call clothes that you sleep in? Ooh, uh, pajamas? Nuts! Don't say pajamas. A word that rhymes with bojamas. Well, it's not pajamas. Poop. Literally, all you have to do to win is not say pajamas. Remember, in the final round, you are still not allowed to say pajamas. Then I'm gonna go with my god and say pajamas. Fudge pug! Catch all the action here on... Don't Say Pajamas! You all have to leave. Hi, my name's Terry. And if you're gonna die, come on down to Cemetery's Mortuary. Why? Hit it, guys. Where do you go when someone needs to be buried? Cemetery! Single plots or doubles if you were married. We'll bury you deep and we'll pack the dirt firm Our caskets are airtight to keep out the worms We'll water your grass, treat your headstone with care And that's about it, cause you 